Huh? How about that? And I double stack the air conditions. They'll come through the same hole and they'll go to a 15 amp breaker. Two air conditioners. Welcome to It's All Grady. I'm Denise. And I'm Marcel. Hey everyone. Welcome to our homestead. Yeah, welcome. If you guys don't already know, we're a small family that moved from the big city, Denver, Colorado, to rural America to start our homestead. Yeah, and part of building our homestead is building our house. Exactly. And we've been doing that now for a couple of years. Tearing the old, building the new, and what an adventure it's been. While we build our home, we also are building our farm and building small businesses that will help sustain us out here in rural America. So previously we have been working on our electrical and today we are on a big crunch because we have, we have to make this deadline. Yeah, I hope I can make this deadline guys. I'm not going to like throw in the towel if I don't. But we are uh, on crunch time right now. We are working against storms. I think everybody probably knows this is stormy season and there's some pretty crazy storms all around us. Every single day there's been one crazy storm after another. And we have another one today, but we're gonna try to push. Guys, we're gonna try to push it and get some power in the house. Yep. So our goal is to get to that main pole and yep. make that connection. But we are up against quite a few things. Yeah. First, we have work to do, and hopefully we can do that work before the storm gets us. Yeah, so uh, in our last video, you guys will see that we ended with pulling wire. All of that wire has been pulled. All I have is a few short wires that I got to pull from the junction box. Right. Yeah, and to connect two plugs. So it's very little in regards to that. Then I need to wire those plugs up, wire our, our breakers up, and then get outside and make that connection. So it sounds like a lot to me for an electrician. They're probably like, you just get it done. <laughs> I'd be done and on my way to the next job already. And I get that, but you confident. I'm working on very little experience here. Just a lot of help from a lot of really experienced people. We do want to take our time with stuff like this so we are not making mistakes because this exactly. is very crucial in our house build and we want to do everything right so it's safe for us and any future families that may own the home. Yeah, messing up the paint job is one thing guys, but messing up the electrical is a whole nother ball game. That's a whole nother thing. Yeah. But we don't want that to happen. And we're gonna make sure that we cross every I and dot every T there is triple time. Yep. Measure once, cut twice. Do you all know what I'm saying? Okay. All right then. Marcel, blah, blah, blah. Let's go to work. <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> Enough of the games. Let's go. Outside, guys, I gotta wear my sunglasses because my eyes are so sensitive right now. There's so much pollen in the air. You'd think the rain would knock it down, but it ain't. Yeah, he's been waking up complaining about his eyes bothering him. I think yeah. I'll make him an appointment, guys. No, we're going to go to work. All right, I could do it blind. It's called Blind Man Electrical. We did it without power. In the last video, I'm going to do it with my eyes closed this time. No. And in case you guys don't already know, our store is up and running. Heck I just yeah. want to holler about that. Our website's up, guys. Yeah, what's it called? It's allgrady.com. All right, then. In between this and that, let's go. All right, let's go. On our last appointment to the eye doctor, Marcel found out he has glaucoma. I don't know. Glaucoma. Astigmatism. Nah, it's glaucoma. So we do have to get that checked out. I'm a little worried about his eyes. So. Me too, guys, because listen, I don't know much about comas, but every time I've ever heard about them, whether it was a glaucoma or any other kind of coma, there was not much going on, and that's <laughs> not the life I want to live. Good morning, America. Good morning, America. All right, guys, so we're in the house, as you can see, right? I can barely see. I'm doing all right right now, though. 
Who needs to see when you're doing electrical anyways? You know what I mean? I hope you do see. <laughs> I can't see clearly right now until no. the rain is gone. Okay. All right, here's what I got to do, guys. We got to paddle bit some more holes, just a few. We're going to hook up a string line because we cannot live with crooked lines or wires or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to paddle bit some holes real quick, clean up the mess, pull the wire, and then we're going to get started on plugs. Meanwhile, Gage is down the hill, guys. We don't want to forget the boy. He's part of this, this whole program. You know what I'm saying? And Gage is down there taking care of farm stuff while we're up here taking care of home stuff. Right? Yep. Cool. We'll merge back together later, hopefully, when we make that connection. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to need somebody strong enough to drop kick me in case I get lit up. Hopefully all goes well today and I hope so. we meet our goal. Have you ever heard of Rainstorm Electrical? All right, guys, let's beat the clock. Sounds extreme. All right. All right, let's go. Split the difference between here and here to the middle, and that's how I'll run my wire. So I need to paddle bit a hole in this board. Yay? At seven inches. Ready? Here we go for a mess.
for far too long But now I'm on my way back home I hear the west winds calling I'm my name They're telling me to head your way Down your road and past your gates Keep your eyes on the horizon I was looking to belong when I'd already found my home Won't be long I'm there before the setting sun For you to fall into my arms The place I call my home I was looking to belong when I already found Okay. Bam. All right, everyone. So we got all of the wires, the rest of the wires ran, and the plugs wired up. So Marcel is already back here in his back room with the panel. So let's go see what he's up to. This is exciting, guys. I'm really excited about this step. How about you, babe? I am, you wanna see what I learned? Yeah, what'd you learn? I learned that it's a really good idea to mark your wires so you don't have to try to remember. So what I gotta do right now to finish up in here so that I can go outside and hook up the panel is I need to get all the knockouts, knock them out, put our, our wire retaining clips back in, and then uh, bring the wire in and attach it to a breaker. But what I did was what I, as I was doing it, See, look at that. East air condition. That's over here. Huh? How about that? And I double stack the air conditions. They'll come through the same hole and they'll go to a 15 amp breaker. Two air conditioners. There's the west air conditioner. Okay? It's going to be a good one right there. That's over there on the west side. Right? All right. And then what's this one here? This is the kitchen plug. <laughs> there is no kitchen. Come on. But it's still a kitchen plug. But dang. Because that's where we're going to put our little stove for the moment. <gasps> the BR plug. There's only one plug on this thing, and it's the BR room. What do you think that is? What's the LRJ box? Huh? That's the living room J box. Right? And this one's already hooked up. I never did mark it. It's already hooked up. That's uh, Gage's BRJ box. Yeah? Does that all make sense? I hope I didn't jump the gun by attaching these too low. You know what I'm saying? All right. Holy crap, baby cakes. You did it. Did it. All right, we're down here at the pool. I don't know. Pull the breakers out. There is a bee in there. We'll have to handle that. Then at least I can mark all these and cut them. So... So this is uh, neutral, hot, ground, and black. These two don't really matter. So.
So the neutral goes to the neutral and the ground goes to the ground. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And hot. And hot. All right, we're gonna test to see um, that it's not on so we can work on it. Let's see 120. Yes. Okay. So that's how that works then. So when I shut it off, it should be zero. Okay, all right, I'm gonna shut this off. You ready? Here we go. That's off, it should be. Zero. Zero. Okay. So I can pull this out. Oh wait, let me uh This is this ratchet is too big. So yeah, it works on this one. Should I just go, should I just check it and see where it needs to be? Okay, the next one is the ground. Do we want to try and do we want to try to put some of that grease on there? That's it. Sounds like right a great there. idea. All that good. Oh my god, that was so much easier. Ah, uh, do you want it? One in an order. Somehow this needs to be on that side though. So hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Let's go under it. Just like so. Yay? Good enough. Good enough. Yep. Ready? Slide it together. Okay, now we gotta feed it in. So this is live on the top still, which is what I want you to be very careful of. Want me to grab those and pull? Uh, yeah, maybe. Just remember up there's hot, so don't touch up there. Okay, baby cakes, here we go, one at a time. You ready? Are you scared? No, I have so much confidence. The house is on fire right now. Let's go see. On, 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 on. Everything is on in here. Woohoo! Yeah, baby, we got power. That's real electricity. Woohoo! 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 Well, how about that, you guys? What an accomplishment. I feel like it's an accomplishment. It is. I know it's not a big deal for everybody, but it is a big deal for us. Like, how many, how many times have I backed away from the electrical now because I was scared? But we did it. We did. We did it. And Baby Cakes didn't doubt me much. She said so. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So she carried that burden for me because I doubted me the whole time. What if I mess something up? It's logical to have some insecurities about that. I'm just saying. But we did it. And we did it correctly. And we wired in, guys. We were wired again. Wired in. It can be pretty intimidating when you're up against something new, but with a lot of research and help from professionals, we are able to accomplish the tasks that we have ahead of us. So we are very thankful for everybody who gives us tips and tricks on how to deal with things and for all of our pros who are there on call when we need you. Yeah. So thanks again, you guys, for just helping us through this. We are so grateful for everybody's input it is helpful it is that's how we're getting this stuff done for real i know how to follow directions mostly it's just about being it's mostly about being sure enough that you've done it correctly right and i haven't made any huge mistakes yet guys i have made some mistakes but nothing that's catastrophic and and it feels good it's another accomplishment you know it what I'm is. saying? I feel good. We got air conditioning gonna be able to run in hot season without an extension cord, guys. As a matter of fact, this morning, I unhooked the last extension cord to the house. It was already unhooked, I just had it specially wired into the house through a very small hole, so I had to take it <laughs> apart and pull the cord through the hole. Uh, yeah, 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 that's how we was living, guys. Yeah, I asked Marcel, I was like, is this wired in? It was like, 
he put the he put the extension cord through a small hole and then wired the end on it in the house. I didn't want so. a big hole. <laughs> I didn't want a big hole for the plug to. I get it. Yeah. So, but it's out now. Yeah. All the extension cords are pulled out of the windows. Yeah. All of our windows are, are closed with screens in them. With the exception of one, there's an air conditioner in one. Yeah. So. We're really hoping that this will save us on some of our energy costs as well because Boy. It's a colossal waste when you run all of your stuff off of underpowered. It is a colossal waste. Right. Yeah. So we're excited about seeing that next month. But for now, I mean, I am really excited and happy that we accomplished this step. Well, babes accomplished this step. Mm. I just stood behind him and supported him. But you ain't going to catch me doing electrical, guys, because I don't understand it. <laughs> well, you might catch her doing some, guys. Maybe. You might. Maybe. You know what I mean? Now that now that we're in the house, we can probably share the responsibilities of pulling wire. Yeah, I could do the wire and maybe a plug even, but yeah. we're gonna I try. Don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> Shall baby cakes spread her wings some and show her true talents? Not only make the videos, but be work the video too? too. Yeah. What you want me to work too? Yeah. All right, and I'll edit time, the guys. <laughs> All right, I ain't editing no videos. Check it off, guys. Check it off the list. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. How about that? It feels good. It does feel good. All right. All right, you guys. We're going to wrap it up for now. So. Hey, can I say something real quick, baby cakes? I just want to say something real quick. Okay. We're doing something else, guys, right now. <laughs> we are packaging our first orders of baby cakes of soap. Yep today for shipment the orders are going out today guys i am so insanely humbled by you guys if i'm not careful i could cry <laughs> serious you guys are so freaking awesome it's ridiculous thank you guys for supporting us for real because it's it's scary to put yourself out there like that it and is. there's always a fear of failure and I know that that's just a, a word and it's a definition that could be completely different from you to me. You know, what is failure? But what you guys have blessed us with is a total successful feeling. And we love you guys for it and thank you so much. Yes, thank you guys so much for your love and support. It is felt in our hearts. It is. It is. I've made every single box I had to fabricate these boxes to ship this stuff out. I'm so jazzed up. If you guys want to check out our site, it's itsallgrady.com, guys. Go check us out. Even if you don't want to buy anything, that's cool, because I know that times are hard, but it also helps us when people research that itsallgrady.com. It will help us become part of uh, Google's algorithm, right? And when people search, handcrafted soaps if we get enough people to research us then they'll promote us too and maybe it's a grandiose idea but this is baby cakes dream and you guys are part of it so there you have it yeah, it's all grady.com baby yeah all go right. check it out all right then. all right so i guess we're gonna wrap it up for today so we could go get this other stuff done if you guys are enjoying our content please be sure to give us a big thumbs up bam Ring that notification bell. Heck yeah, guys. That's that free TV guy. They're going to let you know when our content is available for viewing. Be sure to share our videos. Heck yeah, guys. I can't even explain to you. I mean, I've already tried. I don't have the words anyways. But everybody is desperate to be part of this YouTube algorithm. And every time you guys share us, we become a little bit more part of that algorithm. And you're helping us to build our dreams. Subscribe if you haven't already. Right now is a perfect time, guys. The power's in the house, man. I'm telling you, we did it. Subscribe. Heck yeah. Ooh, heck yeah. All right, you guys. We love you and we appreciate you so much. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Peace. Power's in the house, baby. Guys, I'm about to go down to the mailbox because our friend Greg has sent something. Oh, goodness. Let's so, go see. Let's go see.